everybody so today is december 20th which is actually just insane like we only have five more days till christmas and four more days till christmas eve which is like crazy the countdown starts now it is currently 3 40 in the afternoon and as you can tell i got ready for the day put on some makeup you're welcome to editing taylor who's editing this i think me and georgie might film a video today which is why i got all ready um but we'll see unsure at the moment so far today i have been editing my main channel video about reddit secret santa and what i got my reddit secret santa and exciting news i found out that my reddit secret santa gift for me is coming tomorrow i think but i think i'm gonna open it on like the 24th so it like feels kind of christmasy so yeah that's basically all i've been doing just editing my videos almost done so i think that's gonna go up probably tonight at some point and yeah i think that's it nothing else to update you guys on might look through some old magazines again later because i'm trying to get rid of this giant stack that's in my basement so we'll probably do that and yeah that's it guys so it is now almost eight o'clock and we didn't film our video today unfortunately so we're probably gonna film it tomorrow and yeah i just wanted to update you guys on what i was doing i edited my video which is what i've kind of been doing all day and then i just wanted to show you what i just made because it's so cute oh look we have a fire going in the background it's kind of dying now because we don't have any wood but i mean i could go get some so I might, because I might be out here for a little bit. Look at what I made. I made this little pocket. If you look on the back, it's kind of like a little pocket. Can you see? It's kind of bright. That's the top. That's the bottom. And I made this out of a wallpaper sample, which I thought was really cool. And now I could put one of my presents in this little thing. So that's a fun little upcycling DIY for Christmas wrapping. It was super easy. Basically, you just have to fold. I watched this old lady on YouTube do it, and she was so cute. It's really, really easy. Um, I'll leave the link in the bio if you want, because this woman was a joy to watch. Um, but yeah, so I did, just did that, and then now I think I'm going to... I was going to do something else, but I am missing one of the things that I need to do this DIY project, which I can't really tell you what it is, because it's a present, and I don't want anyone to hear uh, me talking about it. So... Yeah, I can't do that, but I think I'm going to look through this magazine. I've been looking through these old magazines um, for the past couple days now. My Nana gave me a whole stack of them. So this one looks interesting because it's the Astronaut's Own Story Gemini Journey. I just think anything with space is like super interesting. Uh, so we have this one's upside down. And we have this big one, which I'm excited about. So I think I'm going to look through these and probably rip out some pictures. I don't know if it's bad to rip stuff out of magazines, but I like the photos and I feel like no one sees them in these old magazines because who is going to look through old magazines anymore? So I kind of want to rip the photos out and maybe start like an Etsy shop where I like either just frame them because there's some really cool like ads and stuff or I could like do art over them. I don't know. I think it'd be really fun and I don't know, I just love vintage stuff, so I feel like it's good to get it out into the world a little bit. So yeah, I'm gonna go look through these magazines. Love a good car ad. Look how cool. It's Volkswagen. I have now retreated to my room, as you can see, and I'm currently making my bed. I just washed all my sheets today because I usually like to before like holidays, just so I'm like fresh, freshened up and I really need to wash them. I think I went like, I want to say like two months without washing them, which is pretty bad. 
Um, so yeah, I decided to wash them. That's what I'm doing now. So you guys can watch me make my bed. Riveting, I know. All right, I made my bed. I'm waiting for my comforter to dry, so I usually sleep with it like this, and then I'll put my comforter on tomorrow because it takes quite a bit to dry. Um, and I sleep on top of my comforter anyway. I don't like sleep underneath my sheets, which I don't know if that's weird or not. Comment if you do that because I've done it for so long now. I just feel like it's really normal. I'd rather have like a nice blanket on me than like my comforter. If that makes sense. I don't know. But anyway, so now we are going to spray it with some of this. It is lavender pillow spray. My sister got this for me for Christmas. I don't know if it was last year or the year before, but I absolutely love it. So we're going to freshen up my sheets with some lavender spray. All done. I have not moved from this spot for the past three hours. These are how my days normally go. Once I'm in my room, I just stay in here and watch YouTube videos for like four hours. Maybe three. Four is a little bit. It might be true though. I'm not sure. I'm watching Zoella's um, Vlogmas and I honestly like am shocked at myself because I love Zoella's Vlogmas and her Christmas videos and she's just like so festive and I don't know this year I was just like really busy and I don't know I was trying to edit my own vlogs and I just never like I just never watched hers I don't know why because I usually love it but I think just like I just think this year is like not the greatest and so you know I'm not feeling like my normal Christmas spirit itself because you can't really go out and do Christmassy things so yeah I just think that's kind of why I haven't been watching them but I'm watching hers now and I love them I don't know it makes me feel more festive because every single year since I was like probably like 14 or 15 like, yeah probably since I was like 14 would watch Zoella's vlogmas and like all her Christmas videos and I'm like amazed that she's like the she's like the one YouTuber that I have stuck with throughout like 10 years, which is crazy. Um, but I just think she's an awesome person and she's really entertaining to watch, especially during Christmas because she's so festive. And yeah, so I'm watching her Vlogmas. That was a really long story to tell you that I'm watching her Vlogmas at the moment. There we go. So well as vlogmas i'm excited to watch it i think they're doing like gift exchanges can't wait okay guys so i am going to go to sleep i take my makeup off i want to end the vlog here overall it was a really good day it just felt like kind of normal i feel like now that christmas is like five days away which is insane it's starting to feel a little bit more like christmas and a little more like normal which it hasn't felt like normal in a while so it was a good day, and I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Okay, bye. Hello, everybody. So today is December 21st, and um, I don't know what my hair is doing. I just showered, so that's why I look like this. And I got some exciting things in the mail today. So the first thing I got was our Christmas cards, which... I'm a little disappointed about because they got like messed up during printing so now we can't send them out until like the 24th of December because they're sending me new ones with like rush shipping so they should be here the 23rd but I'm just mad that they printed it wrong in the first place so now I have to wait two more days to send out the Christmas cards so they're gonna be late but luckily they just say happy holidays on the inside so like it's not the worst thing and then the second package I got was my secret Santa gift and I don't I'm gonna show it I'll probably show it on here because I don't think I can make a full video about it but I'll show you guys a little bit later because um, I'm busy right now and I'm busy writing out Christmas card envelopes um, which I would show you except it has people's addresses on it so I can't really 
I guess I'll check in back in with you guys after I write all these addresses out. Okay, so I am going to show you guys what my secret Santa got me. It came in this little bag, um, and I opened it, and this was inside. And I was, like, a little disappointed because in my description, I'm pretty sure I wrote that I didn't want books because I don't read. So, yeah. Um, I was like, oh, uh, this is great. But then I opened it, and... It's like a little DIY book holder thing, which I thought was really creative, and I like that they put in some effort into the present because I just like it when people put an effort. If I could tell that people put an effort, it makes me just like happier and makes me enjoy it way more than if someone was just like, here's a random book that you didn't ask for. Um, but yeah, this is what their note says. This says, hi, Taylor. We hope you can make an exception to the no books rule for this one. Also, this is what the note looks like. I, too, enjoy crafting on occasion. This is my first time making one, and I hope it brings you joy and a sense of secrecy. Wishing you all the best in 2021, Rita and Matt. So I guess it was a couple that sent this, which I just thought was adorable. Um, and then they sent me a little other postcard that says eventually everything connects, which I think is really cute. Excuse me, camera. There we go. And then they gave me these like leopard scrunchies, which I might use. I have a lot of scrunchies, so I could add them to my collection. I kind of like them. They're kind of like vintagey vibes. And then I got this pin. Hold on, I like these. This assembled everything. I got this pin. I think this one is probably my favorite thing that I got because it's very my vibe. And I think it's just really cute. It says good vibes only. It's black and silver. Like, that's so my vibe. Can't go wrong. And then Whoa. I got this necklace, which is actually very not my style. So I'll probably just pass it on to someone else to enjoy. But it's this long gold, like, fringy type necklace. I'm just, like, not a bohemian. Oh, and it comes with these little earrings on the top. There we go. I'm just like very not a bohemian type of person. Um, and this screams bohemian to me. But I'm sure someone else would really like it. So that's alright. And then I also got these earrings. Which again are kind of bohemian. Which I probably won't wear just because I'm not very bohemian. Um, but they're like little beaded earrings. They're pretty cute. I mean I could probably pull them off. But I don't know. We'll see about those. And then there was honestly a lot of jewelry, which I was surprised because I didn't really say that I wear jewelry in my description. So it was a little bit random just because I don't really wear jewelry, but it was a nice thought and gesture. And then this is this one, which this one I actually like because it's silver. I like silver. Wait, I don't know if you could see it. There we go. It has like that on the bottom, which I actually might take this off and put like a different charm, but I like that it's like double layered. I don't know if you guys can really see that well because it's kind of like really thin. Um, but yeah, and I think that was all that was in here. So yeah, I do appreciate my Secret Santa taking the time to like make this book and everything. Like I thought that was really cute. The jewelry I definitely won't wear just because I'm not a big jewelry person. And jewelry is just, like, not my style. But I appreciate it nonetheless. I'll probably wear the scrunchies, so that's exciting. Um, they're pretty cute. And the pin, I really like. I really like pins as well. I kind of collect them. So I'll add this one to my collection, and it'll be really nice. But, yeah, that was my whole Secret Santa. If you haven't seen my video of what I got my Secret Santa, go check it out. But I'm really, they were really nice. They seem like really awesome and really nice people. So I'm going to write them back and say like a little thank you note to them because they seem to just like really care and they were just really nice, which is all I could really ask for. I really like nice people. Um, so yeah, I'm going to write them back and give them a thank you note, but I want to show you guys what I got from my Secret Santa. So it is lunchtime now, and I think I'm going to make these salmon burgers. I got these from Trader Joe's, my college roommate friends. I should just say friends, but they were my roommates. Um, they turned me on to these salmon burgers, so I think I'm just going to... 
I can't cook. I'm not a very good cook. Well, I'm, I'm decent. I just don't cook. Um, but I think I'm just going to put this in like a skillet with olive oil and then put avocado on top and maybe have like a little arugula and tomato salad on the side. So maybe a piece of bread. I'm not sure. I think that sounds good. So got the avocados. I think I'm going to cut the tomatoes so I have them ready to put on my arugula. And then we'll fry this up and put everything on top and it'll be really good. Okay. You guys are gonna fall over if I make you go down. Nah, these are for you. But I got my tomatoes. They look decent. They're a little older, I think, than they should be. But I got my tomatoes. Just gonna wash them, cut them up, and put them on my arugula. I'm unsure if I'm actually going to use the tomatoes because I just tasted one. It might taste okay, but it has like a weird aftertaste. And I really don't know if it's going to go well with the salmon burger. So I might just cut out the tomatoes and then just put arugula, avocado, salmon, with maybe like some balsamic maybe. That might be good. So the, I think I'm going to do that instead. Um, even though I just cut up like five tomatoes. But they're not that good anyway. So let's get cooking with the pan. This looks like actually disgusting, but oh well, I thought these came cooked for some reason. All right, whatever. If you guys could see how far back I'm standing from this, I don't want it to splatter. It's starting to bubble. I'm getting concerned. Why do they keep doing that? It's getting kind of brownish on the bottom, so I think I'm going to turn it over. <laughs> oh, I hate cooking. Why is it like exploding? Okay, ready? We're going to stay very far back. Ooh. There we go. Mm -hmm. Um, just have to drop off. Okay, Testing place. Okay, I think they're okay. They look okay, I guess. They smell alright. Just wiping the excess oil off of them. Because I did cook it in a lot of olive oil. So then we'll put it on a nice plate. It looks, I will update you guys after I eat it and let you know if it was actually good or not. Yum. I think I'm a chef now. It looks amazing. And it is the end of the day. It is 11 o'clock right now and basically I forget what the last thing I filmed was. After the last thing I filmed, I went to go paint this soldier that I'm giving to my Nana for Christmas. So I'll put a few clips in here. I took a few clips for TikTok because I want to make a TikTok about it. Um, but I'll put them in here for you guys to just kind of see what I'm doing. through some old magazines again. I'm trying to lessen my pile and get rid of some of them so that's why I'm trying to look through them all so I can give them away. Now I think I'm just going to edit this vlog. That's it. 
I think tomorrow is going to be a more exciting day, so get ready for that because I have a lot planned. It's the 22nd tomorrow. I still have to wrap all my presents. Oh my goodness. I'll see you guys next time for another vlog. Get excited. Okay, bye.